Bear here with if that's the case, and doing a quick review on a Antec VSK 3000. Let's dive in. So the first thing you notice with this case is its very simple design. The front is very flat. There uh, really is not a whole lot to it. Uh, as you can see, it does support two uh, CD or DVD drives, and then you got a simple, um, <laughs> you have a simple 3.5 external drive here. You got your power switch, your reset switch, two USB 2.0s, and uh, headphone and microphone jack. So pretty simple. So uh, I already went ahead and uh, put a system inside. Uh, I will say though that you can put uh, two 120 millimeter fans on this. Uh, there isn't really a spot for it, but you can definitely do it. And on the inside here you have uh, two hard drive bay areas. Uh, I believe that you can actually put three uh, 3.5 drives in here if you like. You just have to use the uh, exterior 3.5 drive bay, keep the front on, and you're good. Uh, so the case basically came with um, just a rear fan, which is perfectly fine. It was a rear 92mm um, fan, which is nice. Uh, no front fan, so I kind of threw one in. I think, um, I think with cases, it's better to have a front fan pulling in air than I think it is to have a fan just pushing out air. Uh, one of the things that I do not like about this case, uh, and it really makes me think I personally would not buy this again, is the fact that your front intake fan can only allow for an 80 or 92 millimeter intake fan. Now I don't think that's really going to boggle your performance too much with a um, budget build, but then again, this is a budget case. I would assume uh, if you're buying this budget case, you are putting a budget build inside of it. So now on the inside though, there is a good chunk of depth, uh, depth here to allow for your PSU and then for uh, your CPU cooling. So all in all, I have to say, it's a pretty nice case. The, the back where you put your uh, expansion cards, uh, it's not a pull out, it is a um, bend and remove. So that kind of uh, saddens me because I had a graphics card in here that actually took up two spots. So I actually had to pop out two of the uh, PCI covers on the back. So one of the last things I'll point out here is that the Antec logo, uh, you can barely see as it's just a different shade of uh, gray on the front here. So all in all, I would say that I would probably buy this case if I wanted something that uh, looked very nice and simple in the front because that is a very uh, nice look. And then if I knew that I wasn't really going to expand too much farther past uh, two hard drives or a uh, DVD drive. Uh, so before I wrap up this video, I just want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. There are now 31 subscribers. Uh, that to me, I'm very grateful for. It shows me that you do like these videos, you want to see more, and I'm thankful for that. So uh, leave a comment if you like, and I'll respond to you uh, the best of my abilities. And then like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and leave a comment below and I will get back to you as I've already said. Or subscribe if you want to see more case review videos like this. Thanks.